Welcome to DB Cybertech. I'm Sean, and in this video, we'll be walking through the privacy product. Let's get started. First, let's log in. For this video, I'll be using training. We're going to go to privacy, then click data classification. The data classification summary page shows PII exposure in your network organized by total services identified and database platform. On the right side, you can see the matches. The matches are the different types of PII that have been found in your network. In the lower right corner of the page, you can see the database services. The DBC platform shows a list of the database services in your network that have PII data. By selecting a database service, the system will provide details about such service. On the left-hand side, you can see the exposure of PII in your network. In the top left corner, you can see the number of services in your network that contain highly sensitive data, or PII, divided by the total number of database services in your network. Directly underneath that, you can see the exposure breakdown by platform. In this example, you can see that most of the PII in the simulation is in the Oracle database. Directly underneath this, you can see the exposure of PII in your network over the past 30 days. We now will move into the different drill down options available for the privacy product. A drill down is a capability feature that allows the user to look deeper into the details, in this case looking at the match of PII. The user can select a matching term in which the system will then display the list of databases containing the term, along with a time frame that the term was used in a SQL query. By clicking on the matching term, the user can drill down all the way to the exact SQL statement that contains the PII. You can then use the breadcrumb trail or tree level bar in the top left corner to navigate your way to the top page of data classification. Similar to the match drill down, the same concepts apply to services as well. Selecting a service displays a new detail about the indicated service. There are different columns in database services that include client IP, username, matches, and SQL statements. Again, you can select any one and drill down to look further at details about the service. In the top right corner, you can see the data toolbar. The data toolbar provides various options for exporting matches and services. There are various options for exporting, like through a CSV file or PDF. Most CSV files usually translate to a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. The different options are to export matches through CSV, to export the database services to a CSV, to export all the findings to a PDF, and this includes both matches and database services and to edit the specifications and exclusions. So under this option we're first going to look at edit abbreviations. Abbreviations are the matches that appear for when the data classifier finds PII in your data. On this abbreviations page you can see what the expanded term is that coordinates to the abbreviation. For example, the abbreviation ACCT that appears in matches expands to the term account when the classifier is searching in your network. You can also add your own abbreviations and delete current ones as well. Next is to edit the specifications. You can look at the categories and terms defined that the classifier uses when searching for PII. The terms are divided up into categories that group like terms together, such as economic terms that has finances and salaries, and identification terms that has emails, credentials, certifications, etc. You can also see the definition that the classifier uses for each term, such as shown here, economic, or information describing the economic aspects of an individual. You can add a category or term or delete them as well. Finally, you can edit the database service exclusions. 
Exclusions are terms that can be taken away from the classifier results. Services, matches, or categories as a whole can be excluded from the classifier and resulting reports. Exclusions can also be re-added after they have been deleted. One example would be height, which some databases include when describing the height and width of a photo rather than an individual's height, which skews reporting results. To do this, you can go back to the top page of data classification and go to exclude database service. Now, when you go to view database service exclusions here, you can see it show up here. This concludes the privacy product walkthrough. For more information and help, please contact DB CyberTech Technical Support at their email, support at dbcybertech.com, or by calling 1-800-375-0592. Again, that's support at dbcybertech.com or 1-800-375-0592. I'm Sean from DB Cybertech. Thanks for watching.